you have to look at the downside, right, um, of, of anything that you would do. What's the worst that can happen? And I sort of, I think when I started my first company, after this whole thing about the proxy battle for this public company I was working in, um, I was pretty broke. So I thought, well, you know, I'm broke. Can't get much worse than broke, right? So I didn't have much to lose then. Um, I didn't have kids, and I, and I, and you know, I, I wasn't married, and um, uh, and so I, I didn't have a lot of responsibilities. Um, and I thought I could probably go get a job doing something. I mean, my last job was a CEO, so I guess that was pretty. I, I, I didn't have much to lose there. So I guess it's it's you have to take a look at what you have to lose. I mean, what do you have to lose? <coughs> a couple years of your life, um, your reputation. I don't know. Um, and, and then I looked at that, it didn't seem like that much of a risk. I mean, with six kids and, you know, bills and private school bills, it seems like a lot more risk right now um, to start companies. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, the time to start them is when you have a lot, very little to lose. And then if they don't work, you can start another one. So I guess, I guess what you have to say to yourself is, what's the wor let me pre the worst that can happen. You know, and prepare for the worst. You know, but hope for the best. And I think if you do that, then you sort of get comfortable with the, with the downside. So you kind of have to get comfortable with the downside. Uh, and, and once you've done that, then it becomes less, it's less fearful.